Hey there, my name is Randy Smith. I'm David Kalina. And we are the two principals of the studio Tiger Style, which uh, made the 2012 game Waking Mars, and before that, in 2009, the game Spider, The Secret of Bryce Manor. This is all true, and I'm not <laughs> quite sure what I'm supposed to say in response. Yeah, I thought you might say that we're making a new uh, game. Oh, right, we're making a new game, and the game is called Spider, Right of the Shrouded Moon, and uh, should be coming out later this year for iOS, Android, PC, Mac, Linux. And let's take a look. Um, so uh, we're still pretty early enough in development that you're definitely going to see some in-progress art and stuff here. We, we like to be as revealing as possible and show people um, our stuff that's in progress. But some of the level art is much closer to finish, so we're going to take go, jump into a level. Sure, yeah. What are you interested in? Uh, let's, do, like, let's, let's do some carriage house. Yeah, why not? Okay. That sounds good. Let's start it off. Um, and so this would be this is intended to be the training level of the game, the very first level. I'll, just, I'll play sideways. Yeah. This, uh, this so uh, very, very. Uh, we worked really hard to make sure there's very intuitive touch controls. Uh, that was one of the things that the original Spider game that this one is a sequel of was very praised for. And so basically, you just touch part of the screen, and your spider will walk there. You can walk on walls and ceilings and all kinds of surfaces. And then you just see David uh, was jumping, and uh, if you tap to anchor yourself before you jump, you'll trail a thread behind you. And if you manage to connect to another surface, then that's one of those lines in the shapes I was talking about. And if you complete a geometric shape, it fills in with the web. So you can make triangles, squares, all kinds of geometric shapes. And part of the, the trick of the game is trying to figure out where to put them, because insects have different behaviors. Uh, so we've got here a moth that's sleepy, and if you disturb it, it'll fly to a different spot. We've got a, a lace wing who patrols back and forth. And then we've got a marsh fly, which kind of hangs in a similar space. And so they all have different ways that you'll have to try to get a web where they're going to fly. Um, those insects all happen to be uh, ones that, that are fans of the original spider would be familiar with. Um, we've also added a bunch of new insects that we'll start to see as we get into some of the future levels. Story-wise, Spider Right of the Shrouded Moon uh, takes place in an estate. The original Spider took place in Bryce Manor, just one building, and so you would kind of make your way from room to room of this family mansion. Uh, and in this case, it's an entire estate. So we're just out in the carriage house right now. Um, there's also a mansion, a tower, a windmill, and some other really fun stuff that we're not going to talk about right here yet, because um, we don't want to spoil things. Um, but there's a lot more indoor and outdoor spaces. So here we're outside in the carriage house, and you can see there's an old horse and buggy type carriage there. And you can also see in the background that it's a clear day. The, one of the big new features in Spider Right of the Shrouded Moon is that we are uh, using your real world location to look up the current uh, time of day and weather. And so if it's uh, raining or clear or daytime or night, like we basically switch the entire environment. And uh, since this is a demo build, uh, it is actually clear day here in downtown San Francisco. So uh, the game actually looked that up, and we queried a weather service, and it told us that it was clear. Um, so for just for contrast, we can switch it to rainy night and like replay the same level. And uh, all of the insect population changes, and uh, the environment changes to match, and the atmosphere is very different. And um, do you want to elaborate? Yeah, sure. So David, David just used the development tool so we can debug and test. Uh, but in, when you're actually playing the game, like as you play, if you want to see the insects that show up at night, then you have to play at night. So you have to come back at night after the sun goes down and check out what new insects appear. Uh, if it's raining and it, does, it doesn't normally rain in the place you live because you don't live in England for some reason. Um, <laughs> You know, so it's rare occasion that it rains. You might want to check out to see what's happening when it's raining because there's usually more interesting stuff happening when it's raining and so forth. Yeah, and so this is a dark room now. The 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 that light bulb is on. Uh, we Which have some changes the behavior of the moth in the space. And right, so now the moth is flying around that light bulb, and then we've got uh, you know um, fireflies are one of our new insect types. Um, and so that's kind of one of the big things, like, not only do you explore your way through this mansion, but it's worth revisiting places to see what's changed under different conditions. Uh, there's kind of like a little bit of a touch of magic. Like, David likes to talk about the technology and the weather service like he, he did, but I like to say that there's a magic spell <laughs> that the video game casts, where it looks out your window and figures out what's going on, and then matches that in the game and tries to, like... One of the things we did design-wise is just try to build as much variety as possible into that. That's something we're still working on, as I said. This is a There's obviously no such thing as magic. It's all... Uh, technology. Technology and magic are nearly the same, the same thing. The same. Indistinguishable. Indistinguishable. Um, right, so we're working really hard to try to make as much variety as possible. So it won't just be the insects in the space, but like what's going on in the space. If, you know, lights are on or if it's raining, there'll be like streams of water coming off the roof, which might make it hard to get into places or might make it easy in some cases uh, or just change the dynamics of how you're trying to play the space. Um... So here we are in the kitchen, probably a clear night, I'm going to guess. This is a clear night, yep. 
You can grab chairs. You know, it just occurred to me that this the might screen, be yeah. Well, yeah let's let's brighten the screen up a little bit. Um, so, in general, I mean, the original Spider game, Spider uh, Secret of Bryce Manor, was very re well received back in 2009. Um, we were just really passionate about the iPhone platform. It was the only one that existed back then. There weren't iPads yet. And we really felt like the games that were coming out back then were kind of simple and uh, not, I wouldn't say low quality in the sense, I mean, they were still fun games, but there wasn't a lot of production quality. So when we made the original Spider, we really wanted to demonstrate that you could do better games on these platforms. And a lot of people cite the original Spider as being one of the first games that really showed that, hey, mobile gaming can be taken seriously. And, uh, you know, we really wanted to take our audience seriously and treat them like intelligent players. And a lot of people responded to that, too, and felt like, hey, mobile games can be for me. They're not just for people who love Match 3 or whatever. Um, certainly, we weren't the only ones doing it, but we're often credited as one of the ones to start that trend. And I think uh, one of the things that was interesting for us going back to this IP and trying to evolve it, it was, was that how far games had come in just, I mean, it's five years is a fairly long time for games anyway, but in the mobile space, it's just incredible growth where games have become much more sophisticated and much higher production quality. Um, you know, and so this isn't a simple sequel. We realized that we really needed to remember what we love about, about this gameplay and, and add a bunch of new stuff. And you can see here the production qualities are much higher than they were on the original Spider. We used to whip out a spider level in just a couple weeks of planning and, and art and stuff. And now these levels take, you know, many, many weeks apiece. Um, so the okay. production levels are higher. You know, one of the new things we're doing here, so we're just, uh, we're showing a top-down environment. So uh, for sake of variety, we're experimenting with some different perspectives on the spider's world. And uh, so this particular layout just demonstrates some super basic top-down uh, behavior for the spider and these uh, these ants and fire ants, which are new insects for this game. Um, so right, so just to that tune, like we're you know we're expanding the spider universe, like adding a lot of different insect types and uh, behaviors, and just giving you more to like explore and collect. Definitely, our plan is to continue supporting this a bunch after we originally launch it. We have a few additional chapters of the story, which in the case of Spider means a bunch more levels to show the story and a much more gameplay. Uh, we have plans to expand the features to make it more deep because we expect that there'll be an audience of people who's really good at the game by then and so there'll be new ways to compete with your friends or to go for higher scores. Uh, again, it, this is fairly early in development for us. We've worked out a lot of the, the cool new features. We're still you know, evolving them or whatever, but it's gonna. we really want to see how the game shapes up before we can decide for sure what those updates are going to be, but we know they're going to be there and there's going to be some really great content, among other things. Yeah, the original game had a variety of game modes, and we were originally discussing like including those game modes in uh, in the initial release. And it's unclear whether or not we'll have them there at launch. But you know, that's one way we can extend the content of the game. And um, you know, so potentially we'll do content updates with uh, you know with new levels, new chapters of the st of the experience, uh, new game modes, uh, which generally include their own leaderboards and that sort of stuff. Uh, I think we're looking like a premium app right now, um, and uh, you know our, we sold the first Spider for two ninety nine uh, at launch back in two thousand nine, and you know well, we haven't decided on a price yet, um, but we're we're likely to be premium. Um, there's there's a possibility we you know we're we're talking about the idea of doing like a you know like a you know a free game with a with a unlock, yeah. which you know kind of like kind of using the the shareware demo model or something. Um, but this is, uh, you know, we're going to be cross-platform this time around, so we have to take that stuff into consideration. And it's a little early to, to know what our exact plan is. We'll probably figure it out the day we launch. <laughs> okay. We definitely aspire to make games that are premium quality. And the thing that appeals to us most about freemium is that we can just get so many more people interested in the game and have so many more people playing it. So that's, a, it, so that's always a you know, a, a thing that we have to figure out. Like, if, if it made us the same amount of money and guaranteed our company would stay in business, I think we'd sell our games for as cheaply as possible just so more people can play them. Uh, but that we just have to make sure that we make the right decision there. Roughly, we're hoping it's uh, only, you know, some months from now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, maybe four to six, we would probably guess. Yeah, I would... Yeah, I would guess uh, late summer, early fall seems like a possibility. Um, we basically have the first world of the game built at this point, and uh, I think there are five worlds or six worlds that we intend to ship. It probably, you know, that sort of stuff can change as we go. But there's a lot of content that needs to be built, um, a lot of new insect types that are still under development. Uh, you know, we're going to have, like, the spider, we're going to redo the spider's uh, character, and uh, uh, we're going to have a bunch of different, like, spider skins that you can unlock. 
Uh, so there's a bunch of additional development that still needs to happen before we're, we're ready to go out the door. Um, yep, and we're going to be iOS and Android this time around, as well as PC, Mac, Linux, and possibly other platforms that have not been announced yet.